I'll be attending Joffrey, Texas's workshop in San Antonio for three weeks. I will be attending the Kansas City Ballet Summer Intensive for five weeks. I'm going to be attending the Joffrey Ballet School this summer for two weeks, and it's going to be very intense. They all went and auditioned this year and got into these summer's intensives with scholarships. I mean, that's the greatest reward any can, teacher can get to see that what they're doing is validated by these major companies across the United States when they get accepted to these programs. When you're ready, hold the balance, hold the balance, chin, chin level, two, three, and four, and five six and seven and eight. I feel like I can express myself in ballet and it's just an escape from reality and everything in the outside world and I just feel most at home when I'm expressing myself in my movement. I went to see a performance of The Nutcracker when I was a little baby and seeing just the movement that they were all doing and I just fell in love with it from day one and there's just something about it to me that's so freeing and so expressive and it's just, it's become a huge part of my life. When I had baby Grace, uh, I just knew she was going to be a dancer. Renata being accepted at Joffrey is amazing. This is something that she has been working for since she was three years old, and I am overjoyed that she was accepted. I love everything about ballet. I love the movement, I love the escape from life, and just everything about it. I have learned so much from Perry, just his experiences and everywhere else he's danced. It's just brought my technique to such a great level. Uh, I was, uh, went to School of American Ballet right out of high school. Uh, and then I was a professional ballet dancer for 15 years and uh, toured all over the world to represented the United States at the International Ballet Festival in Cuba in 1984. And after retiring from ballet, I've been teaching ever since. Okay, don't do these. It opens to the second, okay? Here we go, five and six and seven and eight. Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC 7 News.